Did you know a single-phase motor needs five extra components just to match a three-phase motor's basic function? Let's dissect their mechanical differences. In single-phase motors, the main and auxiliary windings operate with a 90-degree phase difference, while three-phase motors feature symmetrical windings with spaced 120 degrees apart, creating a natural rotating magnetic field. For rotor structures, single-phase motors utilize squirrel cage designs ideal for low-power applications. On the other hand, three-phase motors are equipped with both squirrel cage and wound rotor configurations, tailored to handle high-power demands with ease. Single-phase motors cannot start on their own. They often require extra components like a start capacitor, centrifugal switch, or a PTC relay to begin rotation. Three-phase motors, however, don't need any additional accessories. They can start and run directly from the three-phase supply. Terminal and wiring schemes reveal another gap. Single-phase motors typically have three or four terminals for connecting live, neutral, and the capacitor. In contrast, three-phase motors usually have six leads for delta or star configurations, while IP55 rated motors may only have three input terminals for simplicity. For example, a 1.5 kilowatt single-phase motor may need a 200 microfarad capacitor to operate smoothly, while a three-phase motor of the same power can start and run straight away. Looking for motors? Shop now at ATO.com for single and three-phase induction motors and more automation solutions for your industrial needs.